Hey everybody, today I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of how tasks work in ClickUp. So once I've opened up a task in ClickUp, I'm going to get a lot of information right off the bat. You're going to see up in the upper left hand corner the space, project, and list that this task is located in. If I wanted to move this task to a new location, I can just click on this button here and move it accordingly. I'm also going to see the simple or custom statuses that I've enabled for this workflow in the upper left hand corner and I can change those at any time. If I have multiple assignees enabled I can add or deduct those from here but if you'd prefer to just keep single assignees for your tasks you can do that as well so you would only see one person up here. Here you have your priority which is going to tell your team members the level of urgency for this task. This ellipsis is also going to reveal a whole array of options to you. If you like this task and you see yourself using it again in the future, you can save it as a template and you can come back to it at any time. Over here, you can add information to the task description, letting your teammates know uh, what this task is all about. Down here, you're also going to be able to view your subtasks, which have essentially the same structure as their parent tasks. You'll also have assigned comments over on the left-hand side, which are small action items that you can give to team members. Um, and so you'll be able to see a total list of your assigned comments within this task over on the left-hand side for reference. If you have checklists enabled for this, for this task, you'll also see those on the left-hand side here. At the very bottom, you can choose to add attachments if you have the cloud storage integration enabled. Note that that's actually only available for paid users, but it's a really great feature. You can choose to connect an entire Dropbox or Google Drive account with your ClickUp account. On your right hand side, you're going to have your comment thread. This is where you're going to do most of your interaction with your team members in the task. And this is actually where you can choose to assign comments. If you want your team member to be aware of something, all you have to do is click on this button and assign the comments. Up here, you're going to see any time logged for the task, uh, the time estimate, how long you think this task is going to take to complete, due dates as well as whether this is a recurring task that will be shown right up here. So if you want to make this task repeat on a specified schedule, you should definitely check out the recurring task feature. Finally, up here, you're gonna see watchers. These are people that are going to receive notifications when updates are made to a task. If you wanna minimize this task to come back to it later, you can just click on this button and it's gonna go right down into your tray. You can come back to that at any time. 